two videos in two days. I'm spoiling you. This is the um, this is the bumper I took off the car. And it's got this cutout here for the um, license plate registration plate uh, light, which it, it's cut out quite nicely. It's not it's not really uniform, but I'd, I've never seen another car with that that on. I thought, well, no problem. I'll just turn it upside down because it's, it's the same both ways. Use it that way. And had a couple of holes to fill. And everything I tried, it just made it worse. I'm quite embarrassed. I welded it up, put some braids in it, and it just kept wrinkling up and cracking. And Anyway, I gave up on that. Uh, and I had a bunker off dick. And, and it was painted. And when I stripped it off, it got a bit of filler in it. I'll beat it out. And I'll just let it chrome. And I was a bit bothered whether that would come out or not, but that's come out really nice. Now I've seen this sort of bumper on, on a couple of cars where we've got this, this dip in it here. Um, to sort of accommodate the uh, number plate light, but it still doesn't clear it. I'll just get the rest of the stuff out. I've not looked at this yet. <clears throat> but um, when I had the front bumper done, I had the front bumper and the overriders done. It cost me £350. And that was about, I don't know, six months ago, nine months ago. And I went back to see him and he said, oh, the electricity's gone through the roof, metals have gone through the roof. I'm going to have to work out a price. And I come back to the front bumper without the overriders for 220. I was expecting it to be like 500 quid or something. Anyway, that's good. These are quite pitted. But these are marked with the, um, where is it? Uh, part number, 4617. And that number is, is on my old bumper as well. But you can see how these have been beaten out here by, by hand. The one I took off the front have been beaten out like that as well. But really, like that. That's a, a one-off bump on the front, I think. Let's have a look at this one. <clears throat> so this is what I've inherited. Let's say that's a new LED bulb. And I presume that's sort of original. Um, and that on there, and then the chrome bit on the top. Um, and I, don't, I don't think that can actually twist where it is, because that rubber is going to hold it in place. But I don't like that wire going through that hole with no grommet. So let's see if I've got a grommet I can put in there and put a longer wire on so that the connection is inside the boot rather than outside under the bumper. I'm trying to stop any any sort of problem of this bulb failing and I'm going to take the bumper off. I presume that's a bit of fossil engineering. What have we got here? That come apart. Ooh. Not easily. Oh, I see. 
I guess I can do that. Unsolder that. Put long wire on. Alright, let's start with that grommet business. File it off. Pretty sure this one will go through this one. Yeah. I just stabbed myself in the finger. That's near enough. Okay. Let's try and unsolder this now. So, will this unsolder? See if we can make it into a hole again. That seems to work sort of. Quite a small hole, and the wire I've got is quite chunky. I don't know if that will go through. Not a chance, make that bigger. Something going on there. Try running a drill through. 
if I can hold it. Do this off camera. So I've decided to split the wire and just push some of it through. Which is plenty there. I mean, this must be some sort of little plastic disc or something with a maybe a brass metal to it. Just try and fold the ends over a bit. See what that does. I'll burn a hole in the drill. We missed the last bit of that video because it was too hot in England. The phone should switch it off. Uh, so anyway, that's on. Just give it a whirl. And then the bumpers. I can't even see the screen here, it's so bright, but something like that. Or I can flip it over and use that side. I mean, either way, it still doesn't give you clearance to get the thing off. Uh, but another little job. <laughs> 